Welcome to the Orcas Island Community Church Bonus Study. Here's Pastor Brian. Hello, my name is Brian Moss, Senior Pastor at Orcas Island Community Church. And today we have a bonus for you, a video Bible study. We've been going through 1st and 2nd Samuel. And today I wanted to step back and do a closer look at one aspect of what we see in our scripture reading uh, for all of us to consider, to look at. And so uh, let's do that now. We've been looking at 1 Samuel. So far, we've been looking through the first six chapters. And tomorrow, uh, we'll look at chapter six together. And as we step back and we see what's going on, we see in chapters one through three, we see the rise of Samuel. And then in chapters 4 through 6, we see this story about the Ark of the Covenant, sometimes called the Ark Narrative. And so that's part of where we are at right now. And part of what we want to do as we look at Scripture, as we examine Scripture, is to look for patterns that we may see. And perhaps they, they might just be incidental, or perhaps they really might be pointing us to a deeper truth, because uh, Scripture <laughs> is not incidental. There are things that we are supposed to see and wake up to, to pay attention to what God is saying to us. So, uh, this happens in different ways throughout the Bible. Uh, when we were looking at Mark's Gospel last year and the year before that, we regularly saw these sandwiches. You might remember this. There was uh, one story, and then there was another story here, and then we went back to the first story again. And so this, this story in the middle was kind of wrapped around by another story, this kind of sandwich technique. Mark did this to help us see that these two stories are supposed to go together. They're related to one another, even though sometimes they might seem like they're very different. And so we saw that often in Mark's gospel. Well, one of the other things that we often see in scripture is something called a chiasm. A chiasm, which is based off the Greek letter chi, which is like an X. And so as you see in a moment, this structure, this chiastic structure, you'll see that it kind of looks like an X. There's a crossing that happens here. Now here's a very simple example from Mark 2, verse 27. Jesus is talking, he says, Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And already, just listen to the verse, you can hear there is a rhythm there. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And so when we look at this chiastic structure, we'll see here this first note, the Sabbath was made, and then B, for man, and then continuing on, not man for the Sabbath. And you can see how there's, there's a kind of parallel movement that happens there that moves towards the center. Now that's as simple of a chiastic structure as we can get. Well, here in 1 Samuel, we see something that is a little bit more uh, involved in, in chapters 4 through 7. And so let's take a look at this diagram. Here we see it begins in chapter 4 with a battle at Ebenezer, which is won by the Philistines. Then the ark is held by Gentiles in Philistia. The ark plays Philistia. And then here in the middle, the ark returns. And then you'll see kind of these parallel events happening. The ark plagues Beth Shemesh, which is amongst the Israelites. The ark is held by the Israelites. And then a battle at Ebenezer is won this time by the Israelites. That's what we're going to see next week. And so you can see this movement here in that diagram of how there is a parallel movement uh, and when this kind of thing happens, oftentimes what we are supposed to pay attention to is the event in the middle. Everything is pointing to that event, which in this case is the return of the ark to the people of God, to the Israelites. God's presence is amongst them once again. How are they going to respond? Well, as we've seen weeks to come, it's, it's not good. They reject God as their king. They want a king of their own. But the Lord has been gracious, has returned to them. What are they going to do in response? Well, that's a long way of saying that we really need to pay attention when we are reading scripture, to look for these kinds of things, uh, to see what God is trying to wake us up to. Because, yes, this is, this is God's uh, Bible, God's, God's word to us. 
It is also an amazing work of art inspired by the Holy Spirit, the chief artist, inspiring those who wrote these words down for us so that we might be able to read them today. And so let us do that. Let us read God's word and look deeply at how God is speaking to us. And sometimes God is speaking to us even through these type of structures that are patterns that we find in scripture so that we might be able to understand uh, better who God is and what God is calling us to do. Mm -hmm.